Sundown News Break. We have full coverage of Winter Storm Celine as it slams into the area today. And we will tell you more about how you can keep updated on the latest weather information. All this and more on this Wednesday, March 23rd, 2016. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Tyler Knutson. And I'm Robert Heinitz. And I'm Alex Bosley. Let's take a look at your top stories for today. And our top story for today is once again the weather. A winter storm is getting ready to impact the Midwest and dump several inches of snow across the area. Jacob Boss joins us to inform us. Yes, it's a very big storm it's looking like. And actually, we've increased the snowfall amounts as well. So, uh, very busy. Very, very busy busy weather day. Very. Keep up to date on our website as well with all the school announcements coming in. We've already been having a lot coming in. So, uh, should we go take a yep. kick off? Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look. And first, we start with the impacts of winter storms. And the heaviest snow is going to be in the late afternoon and evening hours tonight. That's when the main impacts will be. Those strong northeast winds are going to be continuing as well throughout the day and the evening. And then the temperatures will be falling, of course, throughout the day as well, leading to that rain to, to snow changeover. You see in the afternoon hours here, the snow will be the heaviest. And as we continue into the overnight hours, it will slowly work its way out. But the heaviest snow will be in the evening hours, and then it will slowly work its way out by tomorrow morning. We could even have some sunshine by early on on Thursday. As we go into the winds, you can see the yellow color there. That's mid 20 mile an hour wind sustained. So very windy today as well. Those will calm down eventually as we go into Thursday as well. A winter storm morning is in effect through this afternoon and evening until 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then the snowfall amounts have actually increased a little bit. An area of 6 to 12 inches is going to be possible just to the south of Spirit Lake, 4 to 8 plus for anyone around there. It's going to be a little heavy band is going to be the key thing there. And as we go along, 32 degrees at 4 o'clock, 31 there at 5 o'clock. If you're outside, though, it's going to feel not so great out there. 12 degrees at 5 o'clock, 36 for the high today, a low of 23 tonight with that snow continuing and eventually ending as we go into the later night and early morning hours tomorrow. And as we go into the seven-day forecast, another chance for rain and snow comes in for our Saturday. We will warm it up as we go into Monday and Tuesday. Another storm filled with rain and snow could be possible by the end of next week. But for now, back to you guys. Thanks, Jacob. With the early out, if you would like to stay updated on the winter storm, you can head to our website, www.spearlakejournalism.weebly.com, where we have our special coverage page. The opportunity to sign up for prom and after prom will open in the office on Monday, April 4th at 8 a.m. and close on Monday, April 25th at 3.30 p.m. Students must sign up to attend either or both events, no exceptions. A black tie affair is slated for Saturday, May 7th. Please see posters around the school for a reminder on the schedule for the evening. If students are looking for a dress or tuxedo, please check our options, our options partner, Elegance Bridal and Prom Boutique, located at Airwood Resort. Students may also consider our partner, hy V for their flower needs. There will be a football leadership meeting during AA on Thursday in the weight room. Thursday, the SLHS robotics team will be competing at the University of Northern Iowa. We will have coverage on our Twitter and on the show on Tuesday. We will have live coverage of the storm on our website. I feel like those should be separate. You can just edit that. Robotic. And finally, happy birthday today to John Bauer and Levi Lindell. And now we'll toss it on over to Tanner and Dylan with sports. Taking a look at your sports for today, the LSLPO boys soccer team is scheduled to have a double header scrimmage tomorrow in Spencer. We will keep you updated on the latest if the games are canceled. This weekend will be the next indoor track meet for the next boys and girls track teams. We will have an update on Tuesday. Let's look at your sports. Back to you guys. Well, I forced these guys to come outside with me now. Yeah, it's a little bit cold out <laughs> here. A little bit windy. We do have a little bit of raindrops out here. We're filming in the morning hour, so um, a little bit of raindrops. That's going to transfer over to some heavy snow this afternoon. Early out for Spear Lake at 1230. Yep. Uh, many other schools are following that as well. You can follow on our website, of course. We're going to continue to have that updated all day long. But uh, a little chilly out A little here. bit. A little bit well, cold. Yeah, I think Maribeth's ready to go back inside. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, we can't stand out here any longer. So thank you for watching News Break and have a great day.